in aerospace, the large primary structures now, from the wings to the fuselage to, to the engine parts, are made out of composite materials. So the increase in use in, in composite materials, such, such as the 787 a aircraft now, has come about because of the advantages these materials have, have offered the airlines. They now can carry more passengers, they use less fuel, they can have smaller structures or larger structures because of the increase in stiffness and strength that composite materials gives them. So composite materials need to be considered as an enabling material. And what that means is they enable a function for, for whatever the end sector is. So if we look at the aerospace sector, the reason composite materials have grown so much in that is because of their specific stiffness and strength compared to their weight. So the, the large aircraft we fly in or the new military aircraft needed composite materials that enabled them to, to achieve their mission. If we move to the oil and gas industry now, with deeper water exploration, two, three kilometer depth water, that's a lot of steel to hang off a, a platform. If you can now make that out of composite materials, not only is it corrosion resistant, but it's also buoyant, so all your, all your engineering design changes. As we move to electric vehicles with, with low emission, these have to be lightweight vehicles. So the industry is slowly moving away from steel into aluminium and magnesium, but also in, into composite materials where, again, the stiffness and the strength and their durability under an automotive applications make composite materials an, an enabling material for that industry as well. So examples of end use structures that, that we may look at would be aircraft windows, composite aircraft windows for both commercial and, and, and military applications. It may be the use of composites for space vehicles and how we join the sandwich structure to the, the structural part of it. Looking at CMCs in turbine and looking at thermomechanical fatigue testing, for the turbine section of, of transport jets. Some of the challenges there will be maintaining those uh, parts, repairing them, inspecting them with non-destructive testing and again looking at their long-term life and, and what to do afterwards. So those are areas that, that Element are, are very much working in. In the oil and gas industry with deep water exploration, it's a new material to that industry. So the industry understands steel very well. It doesn't understand the use of composites. So what we have to do is take our expertise from the aerospace sector on testing these materials, our expertise on oil and gas exposures for metals and bring those two disciplines together so that we can go to the industry and help them use composites in these new applications for them.